Hey guys, Core Ross, and welcome to Bustin' Rainbow Six Siege. Today we are myth busting the new secondary gadget for defenders, which is called the Observation Blocker. And in this video, we'll cover the basics all the way up to the more interesting stuff to do with this gadget. So, first of all, the operators who are getting this new secondary gadget as of Operation Dread Factor are Ella, Root, Warden, Cav, Kaid, Maestro, Pulse, Alibi, and Jaeger. And for a lot of them, they're getting this on top of the secondary gadgets they already have. And if they do choose to select this secondary gadget, they get three of them total. They place them down just like a mute jammer and the sides will actually extend outwards until they hit a surface or reach their maximum width. Now I have noticed some initial confusion on how this gadget actually works as it blocks the vision for drones and cameras used by attackers. But if you walk up to it, you can just see right through it, no problem. And like visibly to your actual operator's eyes, it is completely invisible and you can just like see it right through, no problem whatsoever. And I imagine first people's impressions is this from Mission Impossible, where we put up a fake kind of screen of what's behind, which would have been cool. And I would have loved to have seen this from the drone's point of view as well. Cause then just imagine like seeing through a corridor and it looks perfectly normal, but there's gadgets and operators running around in there and you just don't see them whatsoever. That would have been freaking cool. Whereas it's just kind of this like laser wall that you see from the drones. And if we actually take a close look at the gadget itself, I do think that was the original idea because you can see a pair of cameras on each side, which I presume would have projected a fake version of the room or the corridor, whatever it was, onto the actual laser wall surface and would have given us a fake look in there, which would have been cool. And I would have loved that, given a real Mission Impossible vibes. But the reality is a more bland, just this uh, 2D kind of laser wall, which we seem to be getting a lot in the game right now. We've got Fenry, who has a sphere of laser wall, basically, that goes around the operators who get into his trap. We've had Sense, who literally puts out a gadget with laser walls in it. I kind of feel like this has been a bit of a, a similar thing popping up. But I think the idea originally was something more in line with Mission Impossible than what we've got today. But still, this is going to be a very powerful gadget and let's get into breaking it down. So first up is Brava, my favourite operator in Rainbow Six Siege and she's only been out for one season and she's the favourite operator ever released in the game for me. But we're going to start with her so she can hack the gadgets just like she can other gadgets and it works as you would expect. What it does is flip this gadget to the other team so that instead of blocking attacker gadgets, it blocks defender gadgets. And right now, I don't actually know if this is going to be worthwhile hacking. So first of all, it is a liability for Brava. If she goes into a room with one of these blockers up and is looking for gadgets to hack, but she doesn't want to actually get the blocker, the problem is going to be that there might be a maestro turret just sitting behind that blocker, then shoots her drone. So there's definitely huge risk. And I would say that this blocker is a counter to Brava for sure. But also, I don't know if it's worth hacking or not hacking as of yet but certainly you can switch it over to their side and it'll block default cams, it'll block maestro cams, but maestro cams can also shoot the blocker and destroy it, but it also block bulletproof cams and stuff like that. So it's got potential here for Brava, but we'll see going forward. But certainly it's confirmed she can hack and take over observation blockers, switching them from a defender gadget to an attacker gadget. Now Twitch might be the strongest counter to the observation blocker, even though her drones can't see through the barrier, she can just shoot the actual gadget itself easily destroying it and getting that out of the way. So it is confirmed that the gadget is able to block the vision. However, I would say she's a very strong counter to this new gadget. Glass versus the observation blocker. So Glass has a thermal scope. That means he's looking through most likely a screen in his optic, which if it is a screen, then it's a observation gadget, right? And I think logic should dictate, and I actually don't know how the hell the gadget's making a, a wall that is visible only to cameras. But anyway, uh, it should dictate that then Glass should not be able to see through the walls with his thermal optics. Maybe he can still see the figures, but the thermal part could go away, which would be kind of cool. However, that is not the case. Glass can see through these things just like normal, so they're in no way useful against Glass. And I guess we can probably just say that whatever they're doing to project these uh, laser walls is not affecting the thermal range or whatever the heck it is that Glass sees through his scope. So that is busted. And up next is Yana. And I would say actually the observation blocker here is a huge counter against Yana. 
as her hologram is just a walk-in drone. So these barriers are completely opaque and you just cannot see through whatsoever. Whereas the Defender just standing there can easily shoot your drone and you've got no idea where you got shot from. So the amount of intel Yana should be able to get is going to be significantly reduced when these blockers are in the field. So I'd say that's confirmed Yana's intel gathering abilities are significantly reduced with this new secondary gadget. Now this is an interesting one for me and it's Jackal against the blocker because I was hoping that the footprints behind the blocker just wouldn't be visible because his you know heads up display with his little gadget is totally an observation based gadget on attack so for me what should happen is any footprints behind the blocker should be invisible until he actually crosses over that threshold however unfortunately it's busted because he can see those footprints no problem and if the developers can tweak this i think this would be a nice little addition to the observation blockers abilities but certainly at this moment in time it is not the case jackal is not countered by this new gadget now let's talk about blocker placement because i've seen a lot of people just go and slap these in the middle of doors so that they can be easily shot by the attackers or even a twitch drone driving up towards it can easily shoot it these things actually extend significantly in width so if you want to place these place them like you're putting down a mute jammer that way you can put the down the actual gadget itself behind a solid surface and then the projection goes out along the actual door or window or whatever it is you want to block and that way you're able to cover that visibility point for a drone or attacker's gadget or even a hacked valkyrie cam that might be in your site or something like that that brava's got under control the ability to just block those things without getting the actual gadget visible for it to be easily shot or taken out with a twitch drone or a brava drone if they have to actually push their drone up to this barrier it gives you so much more time to take it out without them getting any intel at all and then let's talk about the strength of this gadget is it actually worth bringing on defense and i would say yeah this thing's way more powerful than i was expecting it to be and you get three of them per operator so you can really block off a lot of vision very very easily and I think it's going to end up being a very powerful gadget to actually have on defense. Now, will it replace stuff like a nitro cell on an operator? I don't know, but certainly just three of them by one person on your team really could change the actual balance of an entire round. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the observation blocker. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. And make sure you check out the rest of the Mythbuster series along with the Mythbusters on the new operator for Operation Dread Factor as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.